Hey, it's Robin Smith. How are you? So we're back for step three of the how you get 90% of your sales spending 30 minutes a day on Instagram. Instagram, you have to, once you have that killer bio, which we have, and you have some content, which you now know how to get, you need to get people to see that content. <laughs> so you have to actively go out and follow people. My suggestion is when you're starting out, your number of followers should be pretty much equal to your number of following. Um, this works until you get to your max, which is 7,500, at which time you have to start unfollowing people. It's actually what I've done recently. So um, how do we follow people? Well, there's a couple different ways. And we're going to start, first and foremost, you go down to the little search bar down here. And there's a couple different things you can do. Go to the search bar up here. You can search by top, by people, by places. If you have a brick and mortar store, places is cool. Okay, really, really cool. <laughs> um, what I'm going to start with is some little competition here. Uh, I help people work building their business on Instagram. So another lady that does that is April Marie Tucker. She actually taught me everything I know. So what you can do is, as you can see, I'm following her. <laughs> of course I would, right? What you do is, what I suggest is click on some of their most recent things, most recent pictures. So here's one, okay? And what I do is two things. One, I click on the people that have commented recently. These are people that are actively on Instagram, okay? No use in following somebody who hasn't been on in 40 weeks. <laughs> we want somebody who's actually gonna see what you're writing. So the first thing I do is I go on and, and see Who's commenting? So, click on this. Oh, I'm already following this person. <laughs> Probably a lot of her, how much I'm already following. Okay, so this April person, she needs some help on her stuff. So we're gonna kinda help her out. So if I follow her, she'll probably follow me back. Okay, now, I'm gonna do that again with this last person here. Same thing, follow, okay, there's two. I also click on the people that have liked it. And the cool thing about that is, see how it comes up here? Again, remember how we were saying about the headline? It's very important right here. Okay, you can see all the headlines. So the people that don't have headlines. So if you see, you know, for example, in my case, follow Robin for Insta Tips. If you're looking for Insta Tips, you're going to see that written there. Probably going to follow me. So what you do here is you just follow, 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 all the way. Now there is a max. <clears throat> Some people say 150 follows per hour to be safe. I like to do 50. So what I usually do is I figure out if I do the full page five times, that saves me. And that way I'm not going to get blacklisted or anything or banned from Instagram. So I would do this five times. I'm not going to do this just for right now just because I don't want to, I want to be able to record another video. But uh, you go through and do it that way. That's one way to get followers. Another way to get followers and expand even further is See how this little down arrow? These are people that are similar to April Marie Tucker. Okay? So I can click right hidden and I can follow this person. And I can follow. And see how it keeps coming up? These are people that are all similar to her. So I can just keep doing this. You know? Isn't that really cool? Um, I can also click on theirs. Okay, here's Travis. I can click follow. Again, I can scroll down. It's already going to bring people up. Or I can go in and I can do the exact same thing. Click people who have followed him. These people are all in my niche and I'm just adding them in. Again, going to the likes. You don't have to make the sound if you don't want to. Oops, sorry. <laughs> there you go. So these are just some cool ways to get followers. Another way, that is going by a person. Another way to do it is by a hashtag. So for example, oops, it still says April, <laughs> April Fools, right? How about Lady Boss? I did this one just a second ago, just so I can show you guys. These are all people that use that hashtag. So again, I can click, see, you know, she looks pretty good, I'm actually already following her. <laughs> So let's see. Oh, she just put this up. So let's click on her name. Check out some of the other stuff. Oh, she has some nice branding. Look at all the colors. Branding is great on this page. 
Um, let's pick another one of hers. Here we go. Perfect. Just going to add some likes. And again, follow, 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 follow. Follow, 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 follow. Same thing. Does she have any comments? No. Oh, yeah, she has one on the bottom. Follow. Okay? So using a hashtag works well. You want to use a hashtag your ideal client is going to use in their post. I like to work with women. I like to work with bosses. Lady boss works perfect. Lady entrepreneur works wonderful. Entrepreneur works great. Say, for example, I used before your yoga instructor. Yoga, Pilates, stuff like that. Okay, so this way you're actively going out and getting followers, getting people, and you'll see people will start following you back. <laughs> okay, so check this out, and uh, I'll be back with the last one. Talk to you soon.